In this video, we introduce a simple yet powerful method for 3D human mesh reconstruction from a single image. Our task aims to estimate skinned human mesh from a single RGB input. There are two mainstreams for this task. One is the model-based method, which predicts SMPL parameters, and the other one is the model-free method, which directly infers the 3D coordinates of mesh vertices. Between these two approaches, we follow the model-free method. We offer intuitive breakthroughs against two significant challenges in human mesh reconstruction. Firstly, it is somewhat difficult to directly estimate three-dimensional coordinates of the human body model from limited color information in two-dimensional input. To bridge this gap between 2D and 3D spaces, we give intermediate guidance to the network by using the proposed point-guided feature sampling. Secondly, occlusion is one of the most important problems in this field. To alleviate the ambiguity driven by occlusions, we make the network effectively learn the local relationships between each vertex by using the proposed progressive attention masking. Our method consists of two main parts, the feature sampling part and the mesh regression part. In the feature sampling part, vertex-relevant features are extracted based on our point-guided feature sampling scheme and used as the input vertex token of the transformer encoder block. We'll see the details of this scheme in the next slide. Unlike the vertex token, the joint token is randomly initialized and optimized during the training. Grid feature is also used to consider the united human body structure in a global manner. In the mesh regression part, input tokens are transformed to the final 3D coordinates corresponding to the output mesh through the transformer encoder blocks. Our progressive attention masking strategy is applied to the transformer encoder, and it will also be dealt with in a later slide. Let's take a look at the proposed point-guided feature sampling scheme. In the previous method, the same backbone features are used as all input tokens for the transformer encoder. On the contrary, we extract the features based on the predicted vertex heat map for vertex tokens. Specifically, this heat map is defined as an activation map corresponding to the vertex position that is projected into the 2D space from the 3D space. This is a detailed process of point-guided feature sampling. Here are the predicted 2D vertex heat map and the encoded target feature. Spatially aligning them, we sample the feature at the predicted vertex point in the channel direction. This process is conducted on all vertex points, and those sampling results are utilized as vertex tokens. By doing this, the network can easily understand the correspondence between the 2D and 3D spaces. Now let's talk about the proposed progressive attention masking scheme. First, we define the matrix that reflects the connection relationship of entire vertices on template human mesh. Considering the red dot as a starting point, the sequential connectivity on the mesh surface can be represented as shown in the figure on the left. 1, 3, 5, and 7 connection relationships for all vertex points can be visualized by a binary matrix as shown in the figure on the right, similar to a form of the adjacency matrix. These matrices are utilized to mask the attention map when conducting the self-attention in the transformer encoder. Each transformer encoder uses the mask with a different number of connections, where the number is progressively decreased. By doing this, the human mesh can be accurately regressed even under complicated environments such as occlusions, by considering the relationship between vertices in multiple levels. Compared to previous works, we achieved competitive performance on the representative benchmark datasets. As can be seen in the qualitative results, our method has a great ability to reconstruct human meshes in various occlusion scenes. 
Here are some more examples. Thank you for watching.